Hello everybody, um, I've made finally some progress in the loading procedures from the LNG vessel after many 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 hours and uh, studying and try and error because and let's remind you everyone I have never set a foot on a vessel a cargo vessel let alone an LA complex LNG vessel I'm just an IT guy that loves to figure out how things work and to study and to learn so um, I know what is stadium that I can flip the tanks in the correct procedure at least I think so please if you spot an, uh, an error uh, or uh, you have anything to help me out leave uh, your information in the comments below um, so at the moment we are completely uh, the tanks are completely empty um, basically they are filled with air 21% uh, oxygen um, and some nitrogen is already in it um, but they are in an unsafe state to fill up first we need to uh, inert them uh, fill them completely with nitrogen so all the oxygen is uh, purged from the from the tanks because that would be a very dangerous situation if we filling it up with uh, RNG in one of my previous videos, I finally figured out how to start the nitrogen generator. So it's running now. Uh, we have uh, nitrogen in the main lines. And we also uh, used nitrogen uh, in the holding spaces um, to provide some buffer, I think, safe buffer, buffer zone. So that was the first step that we have to do. And that was already completed. So the second step um, is we need to um, dry and inert the tanks uh, because um, it takes a lot of nitrogen to uh, purge the tanks. Um, I figured out that we don't use that uh, via the onboard uh, generator, but you use nitrogen from the shore. So if you go to the shore tanks, the left or right are the LNG tanks, but in the middle one we have a nitrogen tank, and we can use that one via these two lines. This will now feed the liquid lines that we will now connect to the vessel. And these correspond with these four lines. I always use the port side one. So now we connect the liquid lines, and we say we're going to load uh, nitrogen loading come on yes same for here loading nitrogen so we're going to uh, use the liquid line to fill up uh, the tanks I'm only going to do one because it takes a lot of time um, so uh, let's follow the path that we're going to use uh, first we're going to set we're going to going for that step um going over here this is the liquid line and this is liquid station where you can connect one of the four tanks so first of all i'm going to fill up tank four perch tank four uh, rather continue this liquid line and we're going to the tank four in this tank we're going to enable the hydraulic valves um, before we can use the hydraulic valves, we need to be sure that the emergency system is operating. So you do that by providing hydraulic power to the system. And now you see uh, these two uh, controlled valves uh, have opened. So we clear the path from the liquid line, the port and starboard side, and this going to the liquid line. So now we're ready to fill up our tanks, but of course we need also to provide a way uh, to expel the oxygen um, because it's oxygen and really harmless. Um, we're not going to uh, push it to the shore, but we're just going to ventilate it in the main mast. So vapor is the yellow line, uh, not open this valve, but going that way and connect it over here, the both sides. And you will see um, at the moment uh, there is no flow to the mast. And when the car starts filling nitrogen, we will uh, push the oxygen out this way. Oh, sorry. Once again, liquid lines um, 
in uh, vapor oxygen and this array is out so yes we're ready so normally we can now open the, the valve uh, and take in uh, the nitrogen from the shore you see we have some pressure if we go to the shore you see we've put in 100 flow um i don't know how realistic it is um i will set it to the maximum um and first we're going to see if everything is okay we do have seven i think i think it's bar i don't know what the unit is in this simulator we have seven let's say bar to the liquid line and if we go to the bottom uh reading at the bottom slowly but surely uh, you should see the oxygen drop because if you follow the outside pathway to the mast you see we now have a flow of uh, oxygen i'm just going to speed up this process a little bit um again i don't know how realistic this is but this is the maximum value we can put into the simulator And now you see the quantity of nitrogen at the bottom is rising and the oxygen is uh, going down. Um, so it will take a lot of time uh, for doing these tanks and there are four of them, eight, eight uh, as they are on two sides. And you see the flow as always is also rising to the mast. So this is the first step um, in earthing the tank and in the next video I will show how to dry it uh, because uh, nitrogen has some uh, carbine uh, uh, in it and uh, if we put uh, liquid nitrogen in the tank the carbide would freeze up and do some nasty things. Um, so we have to um, dry the tank uh, we do that uh, with vapor from uh, LNG. Um, that we produce ourselves. So as you see the nitrogen uh, oxygen is going down and I'm going to leave it with this from this 